everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Victoria Leone. Today we're going to be opening up May's BoxyCharm and we're actually opening it in May. <laughs> if you've been following me, you know that we're expecting a little baby in November. I'm so excited and I'm just getting over being nauseous and so it took me an entire month to be able to open up April's BoxyCharm just because I wanted to wait until I was feeling better. So we just opened that up like just a few days ago and now we are going to open up May's BoxyCharm Premium. This one is $35 a month. I honestly haven't got a clue what is in here. I don't remember what I chose for my choice item. Actually, that's not true. This happens every time. I'm like, I don't remember. I do remember and I was not impressed with it. It's a small Smashbox eyeshadow trio, I think. I think there's three colors, might be just a duo, but it's small and I just, it just seemed kind of like something maybe that you would get in Ipsy or in like a $10 a month like sample size subscription. So I was a little, di little bit disappointed with that, but who knows what else is gonna be in here. It could be something super epic. This box feels pretty light. It's not super heavy, so I guess we'll just see. Don't forget to subscribe too if you haven't already. I would absolutely love that. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, um, do I wanna take out the card? Let's take it out just so we can, oh, that's so pretty. I just like to see what their like main theme is. Super pretty, so it's kind of a Mother's Day kind of a theme, so that's fun. Another eyeshadow palette this month, maybe? <gasps> a brush set? Oh gosh! <laughs> yes! I am obsessed with brushes. Like, I cannot have enough brushes. So this is so exciting to me. This is the Paddington brush set. Oh, we have two. Oh, whoa, these are heavy. Holy smokes. These are super, super heavy. They say Paddington on them, just two of them. So we have a powder brush and a contour foundation brush, it says. They're cruelty-free and they're backlon bristles, 100%. I don't know what that is, but they feel really soft. Sweet, like I said, love brushes, so this is definitely a win of a product for me, but man, these are really heavy compared to other ones that I have. Let's see what else might be in here. I did do super, super minimal makeup today, you guys. My effort that I put into it was probably like 5%. <laughs> I just did mascara, a little bit of under eyes. I did put on a little brow product for you guys, but otherwise, I didn't really do anything because it's such a chill day today. I don't have a full face of makeup on, but you know what, that's okay. Oh, oh, is this a full size? This is a milk makeup. What is this? Um, I'm, is this? Like, cause BoxyCharm is supposed to be all full sizes. This is one that I got as a free birthday gift. Yeah, so this is a mini. I'm not complaining, you guys. Don't mix that up with complaining cause I'm super excited about this, but I'm also kind of like, Hmm, just because they do say that everything's supposed to be full size and this is not so just makes me question is all I'm still really excited about it. Let's see what color we have. I think this is in the shade Astro Yeah, this looks like more powdery and shimmery for some reason. Oh, no It just looks like it just got a little bit melted is all it just got melted in shipment, which is totally fine That is so so pretty. Oh my god Gosh, wow, it's like a little bit reflective between pink and more of a peachy golden tone. That is so beautiful. Gorgeous, you guys, so, so, so pretty. Next item. This must be the Smashbox, yes. Okay, so this is the duo that I was telling you, oh, sorry, trio, that I was telling you guys about. So this is called Holy Crop. <laughs> creative name. It looks like a camera lens, so that's really fun, but I don't know. I just think that this, I feel like it should have been a lot bigger. Like last time we got a full size palette, this just, both of these seem to be just mini size things, which is fine, but also they're supposed to be full size. You know what I mean? So, but still really pretty. I don't know if I will use any of these. I might maybe gift these to maybe one of my nieces or something. This would be perfect for just like starting off with makeup or if you do just want a little something for on the go or something to put in your gym bag or something like that, I guess. But I don't personally think that 
I'm gonna get a use out of this. And I hope you guys are okay with my honesty. I try to like avoid conflict as much as possible, but also still try to be as honest as possible. So I do think the colors are super gorgeous and I'm excited that it's Smashbox and I'm excited that it could be used as a gift for the future, but I'm not super excited about the size. Let's see what's next. This feels like a big product. Ooh, I'm super excited about this. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is a Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my goodness. I am super excited about this. This would also make a really good gift though. I struggle sometimes because I do have so many eyeshadow palettes and it's so much fun to get new ones. Don't get me wrong, I am like super pumped to try this out, but I am definitely someone that likes to give a lot and I have a lot of siblings and a lot of friends, so I'm like, who can I gift this to? But this is so pretty. Oh, and it smells so good. Mmm, that smells so good. Ooh, ooh, I love the design. You guys, that is so much fun. Huge mirror, which is super nice. That is so, so convenient. I really love the colors. These would be beautiful wedding colors. And I love that they color coordinate so you could easily do a look with just this row or just this row or just that one. I love the little bit of purple in there, neutrals, a little bit more warm tones. This is a beautiful palette overall. Love it. Also, the front of that is so pretty. It's so elegant and just, I love it. I love it. So far we have one, two, three, four items. So we should have at least two more, I think. Yeah, we should have at least two more. Okay, so next we have the Sugar Rush from, okay, start over. The so next we have the Sugar Rush Tarte Best Bud Lip Butter Balm in the shade Peony. Oh my gosh, stop it. This packaging is adorable. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, that is just lovely. I love that. Ooh, that smells heavenly. I am absolutely going to put this on my lips right now. Mmm, that smells like sugar. Oh my goodness, that just smells so good. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna like put this by my bed. This is gonna be used all of the time. I love that. You can never have too many chapsticks. I swear they go missing, so that is super fun. Okay, last item unfortunately and then we'll talk about prices and yeah oh Kat Von D eyeliner so we have their long wearing matte eyeliner in the shade dark wave is this it's blue this is gonna be so much fun. That is gorgeous and it dried super fast such a fun like royal superman blue that is so pretty Okay, I'm actually super excited about this. I wasn't excited when I took it out of the box because I just was like, I don't need another black eyeliner right now. But since it's blue, that is so much fun. So that is everything, you guys. I can't believe that. That was it. I want to look at the prices and see what? This was $90? That's so much money. Honestly, I liked April's box better. I'm kind of really disappointed about this box. I'm sorry to say that, because like I said, I like to be more cheery and excited about stuff, but I don't know. Overall, I think I'm really disappointed in this box. I would probably put it down to one of my least favorite ones. Even though I am excited about everything and I do really like it, I'm not over the moon like, oh my goodness, this was so worth it for $35. I don't really feel like some of these items were worth it. Hopefully next month will be more fun. I did pick out next month's choice item, you guys, and it was this. <laughs> so it's gonna be in a different shade. <laughs> I guess it's good that I really like these, but it's gonna be in pink in the shade Halo. So it's the same thing. Looks like it's just a little mini guy. So I want to interrupt really quick because I just was feeling just I just was feeling bad about how negatively I talked about the box towards the end because it really is a good box and I have been really enjoying a lot of the items, especially the um, Sugar Rush, I think it is, that lip balm, so good. I love it. And those brushes are amazing. I haven't tried out the palette yet, but I'm really excited about the palette. Um, so I'm really excited about the box. Just like overall with the items, I didn't feel like it was the box that I was the most excited about is all. So compared to the other boxy charms that I've gotten in the past, it just wasn't my favorite. Also to address the milk product really quick, they did say that it actually is a full size product, but 
I don't know. It still has just been bothering me that it was that small. Even though it is the full size technically for that product, it is the mini size of the product that's like the twin to that one. So I don't know. I just felt like it still just wasn't really a BoxyCharm worthy product and was kind of more of a filler, but I do really like it. Milk makeup is amazing. So still think it's awesome. Hopefully next month's box will be better. I hope you guys enjoyed April's unboxing too. That was just posted a couple days ago. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm sorry it wasn't the most exciting box ever, but hopefully your box was supreme thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're doing so good and i hope to see you in the next video oh don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below what your favorite product was or what you got in your boxy charm how was yours different mine was variation number 48 it says down at the bottom corner of this little guy what variation yours was i think there's like hundreds of variations anyways love you guys and i hope to see you in the next video bye Mwah.